Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter four, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started now. For our purposes, we are not gonna be using these. So we are going to be doing the math. So now, even though technically three is bigger than 0 0.27, 27 has more numbers in it, so we're gonna put that up top, okay? So. Three times seven is 21, carry our two. Three times two is six, plus two more is eight. Okay, now we went in one, two places here, so we're gonna go in one, two places here, and our answer is point eight, one. So, again, we're going to, okay, at a top, okay. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. We went in 1, 2 here, 1, 2 here gives us 0.90, okay? Okay, same thing here, guys, okay? Now, on this one, we can just put 0.8 times 2. You don't have to put the 0 in front. And 2 times 8 is 16. We went in one place. We're going to go in one place. 1 1.6. Okay? Pretty easy. Okay? You guys are going to do 5, 6, and 7. We are going to go down to number 8 and go ahead and do that. It says in physical education class, Sonia walks a distance of 0 0.12 miles in one minute. At that rate, how far can she walk in nine minutes? So, 0.12 times 9. Let's do it. Okay. Nine times two is 18. Nine times one is nine plus one more is 10. So we went in one, two places here. We're going to go in one, two places here. It's going to be 1.08 miles. Okay. All right. A certain tree can go 0.45 meters in one year. At that rate, how much can the tree go in three years? So 0.45 times. Three. And whatever your answer is going to be, it's going to be in meters. So three times five is 15. Carry that one. Three times four is 12. Plus one more is 13. We went in one, two places here. We're going to go in one, two places here for 1.35 meters. Okay. All right. We're going to go over to the back side where you guys will do the lesson check. You do not have to do it with the boxes. You can just, oh goodness. So actually, y'all don't have to do one, do two. Okay. All right. So we are going to be using PEMDAS right now. Okay. Remember that multiplication and division are together as our addition and subtraction. So the first thing that we are going to do is going to be our parentheses. Well, our parentheses say seven plus four. So 20 minus and times five, because those didn't go anywhere. Now, seven plus four is 11, okay? So now I have no exponents. My multiplication and division, well, that's this one, okay? So, 20 minus 11 times 5. Well, 11 times 5 is 55. So now we're going to have 20 minus 55. Okay? So, going backwards into negative numbers, 20 minus 55 will get you negative 35. Okay. All right. Ella and three friends run in a relay race that is 14 miles long. Each person runs an equal part of the race. How many miles does each person run? I'm going to come over here and do it on scrap paper. It's just easier to do division on scrap paper. Okay. Now, we know that the total distance is 14 miles. Okay. We know that Ella and three friends. So that's four people total. That's a mistake people make when they're doing this. It's not just her three friends. It's Ella and her three friends. That's four people. Okay. So four does not go into one placeholder. 
Okay, four will go into 14 three times. Three times four is 12. I'm not adding, I'm subtracting. I'm going to get two. Okay, so now I'm going to add a decimal and a zero. Okay, two is smaller than four, so I'm going to bring that zero down. Four will go into 20. Oh, I didn't bring my decimal. Out. Five times, five times four is 20. Subtract and get zero. So 3.5. Miles. Okay, you can pause, you can go back, make sure you're writing down your work, make sure that you label it, it's important. Okay, all right. Which symbol makes this sentence true? Okay, so they both start with one, they both go seven next, both five next. Now, this one's one and this one's eight, which makes that one bigger. Okay. Each number in the following sequence has the same relationship to the number immediately before it. How can you find the next number in the sequence? Well, how do you find that number? Okay. So I would find out how I get from 3 to 30, which 3 times 10 is 30, 30 times 10 is 300, and 300 times 10 is 3,000. So I would multiply the number by 10. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out for 4.2. Come on back for 4.3. Have a good day.